cierto, no hay competencia. Ya fui a una carrera ahí en el centro histórico. No, Hace sí. como dos kilómetros. A, cinco, porque cinco. ahorita sí, porque a, ya después de la pandemia ya no entrené nada. No. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. How are you? <laughs> That's okay. How are you doing today? What are you guys talking about? Can you tell me? <laughs> What is going on here? Oh, about the room in... Oh, I, I heard, Katy, that you, you were saying something uh, about that you went to like a competition, like something I like, like that. I like... I like the room in, in las carreras, teacher. How do you say in las carreras? I think that uh, carreras is race, like race, R-A-C-E. Race. Pero sirve, o sea, esa, esa palabra sirve para igual carreras así de atletismo, de runners. That's an excellent question. Let me just check here. Okay. I'm not 100% sure about that, Kathy. So how are you doing today, guys? How is everything going? Hey. In my case, a little tighter. Are you? Okay. Well, I can imagine. I can imagine if probably you guys had to work today. Maybe you have to work really hard today. Yes. Huh? Something like that. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, Elizabeth. Well, that's fine. We just need to be for the class, mm -hmm. just one hour, and then you guys can go. You can go to bed. You can sleep. Just get some rest. So, so thank you so much for being here, guys. I know that you're making an effort. I know that you guys probably are tired, things like that. So I really appreciate that you take the time to be here. That means a lot for me. Thank you, guys. Ok. Bueno. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están, guys? ¿Qué tal, Alejandro? ¿Cómo estamos? Very good, teacher. And you? Thank you okay. for asking. Very good. I'm doing fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Ok. Nice. Ok. So, para el día de ahora, guys, vamos a terminar con el tema que estábamos viendo. Creo que no lo terminamos, ¿verdad? No sé si, eh, ¿cómo se sienten con respecto al tema? ¿Se sienten bien? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? How do you feel about it? Do you have any questions about the topic, about the present perfect and the past? Teacher, I need more practice about the per and the past. Uh -huh. eh, and in this so you didn't practice Nadia is that what you're saying or are you saying that you practice I need I need more practice because oh, uh -huh. the, um, uh -huh. I forget the the, I the uh, la forma en como se escribe no, no sé cómo se dice yes okay I see structure That, the structure or you forget structure. the spelling of the words sometimes maybe yes the, the structure the structure okay yes uh, yeah that's uh, i can imagine uh, that that is something that happens probably it happens uh, maybe not to everybody but maybe for some of us uh, we need to practice sometimes more so we can practice again today we can do that of course thank okay. you teacher you're welcome Nadia. Yes, so we're going to practice again. We, I actually, I just wanted to, I just hey, wanted to review the topic with you. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Um, I have a question with the platform. Mm -hmm. The something words. What is the meaning? Dingy, dingy, d i n g y. T I N G Y. Dingy. Yes. Sí. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Uh, so it means uh, that something is uh, dirty, like sucio o sucia. Es un adjetivo. Okay. Y cramped, cramped. Y cramped. Cramp normalmente es como de es. calambres. O, pero si es cramped, si es cramped, sería estrecho o estrecha. Yes, because it's C R A M P E D. Okay, so yeah, in that case, that would be uh, estrecho. It's como cuando algo, sí, estrecho. <laughs> o estrecha. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ay, 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 va a disculpar. No, no se preocupe. Está bien. Eh, muchas gracias, Katy. Probablemente, bueno, no todos los, la conozcamos la palabra, así que es bueno para que todos la podamos conocer, ¿verdad? So that's good. Thank you so much. So okay, now, uh, dingy, Thank you. dirty, you're welcome. And cramped is like estrecho. Okay. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. So for today, guys, uh, we're going to, we're going to finish with the topic. Uh, I know that probably some of you want to practice so we can practice again. And well, if we finish with the topic today, we may start with the new topic that we have. Okay, we still have to cover uh, other uh, topics for this week. So you can complete the, the activities that you have on the, on the website. So, okay, I'm going to share the presentation with you guys. Do you have any other questions before we do that? Anything else that you guys would like to share? No, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right, so I'm going to share the screen okay. with you guys. Here we go. There okay. we go. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about this. We talked about uh, already, yet, and these expressions that we use with the present perfect, okay? So basically, uh, I just wanted to review this really fast, really quick. And also I wanted to add uh, like more information about this, okay? Uh, so we said before, we said yesterday that you can use jet for questions mm -hmm. and also for negative statements, okay? Negative sentences, like have you finished jet? Y también, uh, guys, uh, básicamente la intención uh, que nosotros le estamos dando a la oración cuando utilizamos jet es como que tenemos una expectativa de que algo suceda. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, cuando decimos, have you finished yet? Es como que nosotros tenemos la expectativa de que esa persona termine algo. Es como que, ¿ya terminaste? O sea, ¿ya, ya lo hiciste? Estoy esperando que lo termines. ¿De acuerdo? No, okay. Entonces, esa es como la finalidad de utilizar este tipo de, de, de palabra en el presente perfecto. Okay, and you also have guys uh, already. We said that already is almost the same thing. Yes, Alejandro. Even if I, mm -hmm. even if I don't begin to do. <laughs> uh, yes, even if you didn't start the action or something like that, but mm -hmm. there is an expectation when you say this. You expect mm -hmm. something to happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, thank you. You're welcome. Then, uh, con already, dijimos que, bueno, yet lo ponemos al final de la oración. ¿De acuerdo? Muchos teníamos esa pregunta y lo vamos a colocar al final de la oración. Have you finished yet? I haven't had dinner yet. ¿Ok? Y luego, para already, already viene teniendo casi la misma, el mismo significado. Es como que ya hiciste esto, siempre hay una expectativa, pero la expectativa es, digamos, un poco menos que yet. Un poquito menos. Yes, Nadia. Teacher, I have a question. We can use yet in the be in the begin for sentence. The sentence. Uh, well, for this, for the present perfect, we only use it at the end of the sentence, Nadia. But there may be other situations with other tenses when you can use yet at the beginning. But it's really rare. I mean, you hardly ever use it. But yeah, in this case, 
just at the end for this. Do I have a question? Mm -hmm. Yes, Boris. Thank you. Um, in the case of already, uh, I only can use in affirmative uh, tense. Sí, eh, lo puedo utilizar, Boris, en oraciones afirmativas. También se puede okay. utilizar en, en preguntas. También se puede. Ok. Uh -huh. También se puede. Eso es lo que les quería decir. También se puede en preguntas. Eh, es bastante similar a JET. Eh, pero, digamos que la expectativa no es tanto como cuando decimos JET. Ok, cuando decimos JET es como que estamos esperando. Y already, eh, más que todo es para decir... Eh, oraciones afirmativas en las cuales nosotros queremos decir que ya sucedió algo, que algo ya pasó. Es como que, yes, I have already finished. Ok, we're saying that ya pasó. Ok, y la otra parte, guys, en este caso, already, eh, si ustedes se fijan, acá lo colocamos entre el verbo auxiliar, have or has, y entre el verbo principal, que en este caso es finished. Ok, yes, I have already finished. Uh, you can, uh, you have a different sentence, and then uh, the only thing that is going to change is the verb, okay? For example, have you eaten yet? Yes, I have already eaten, okay? So that is the only thing that is going to change. Then already is going to be between have and uh, the main verb, in this case, finished, okay? Entonces, solamente quería como reafirmar esta parte, solamente reforzarlo, ¿de acuerdo? No sé si eh, estamos claros con esta parte, guys. Can we use already in a negative form, teacher? Excuse me. Uh, no, uh, well, I mean, no. I think that sometimes you can see sentences like that, but it's, uh, I don't think that it's going to be really common. I, I okay. wouldn't advise for you to use already. You can use yet instead. In a native in a native form, I Correct. have to use jet. Jet, yes. So, for example, in this case, uh, could say no. I have not yet finished. Yes, you can say for I have example. not. I have not finished yet. Okay, yet goes at the end. I have not finished yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It goes at the end. Okay. Very good. Sí, recordemos, eh, solamente para yet va al final. Already, eh, <risa> sí, lo podemos colocar en medio y lo podemos colocar al final. Y cuando lo colocamos al final, es como que estamos dando énfasis. ¿Ok? We are uh -huh. saying, I have finished already. Estamos dándole como énfasis a que ya se hizo. Esa es la uh -huh. única diferencia. Estamos dando más como, re, eh, estamos resaltando esa parte de que ya, ya se hizo. So you can say both ways, but when yet, it goes at the end. Okay, guys? At the end. Okay. okay, so any other question, guys, before we continue? But the rule for already is that we are going to use the, the verb always in past participle. That is correct. In this case, if we are using the present perfect, you need to use the verb in the past participle form all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, have you finished? Yes, I have already finished. Ok, entonces eso era prácticamente, guys, eh, lo que quería reforzar con ustedes acerca de esto para que nos quede claro. Vamos a practicar siempre porque sé que toma práctica para que no nos cueste tanto, para que no tengamos que pensar tanto a la hora de hacerlo. Así que vamos a practicar y que se vuelva algo más automático. Ok, so then eh, we have the next uh, example. It says recently. Ok, so have you seen any good films recently? It goes at the end. And then, well, and then we have other time expressions like today, this week, this month, etc. So I haven't seen Ted today. It goes at the end too. It goes at the end. Okay. Y bueno, eh, solamente para refrescar, guys, acá está. Esto yo se los quería mostrar y si ustedes quieren, pues, pueden tomar una captura o escribirlo si ustedes gustan. Esta es la estructura que nosotros vamos a utilizar. Por si en algún momento eh, tienen una duda o algo, pues acá está la estructura. Eh, como dijimos antes, para afirmaciones, sujeto, have, has, plus.
plus the past participle. Negativo. The subject plus have or has plus not plus the past participle. And then uh, questions. Have, has plus the subject plus the past participle. We have this. Eh, quería mostrarles esto y si ustedes gustan lo pueden guardar. Yo ya les compartí la presentación. Y si ustedes gustan lo pueden guardar para que... Yo sé que en muchos casos aprendemos mejor visualizando las cosas, ¿verdad? Entonces, un cuadro de resumen ayuda bastante. Entonces, por acá Thank están. You. You're welcome. Yeah, I just, I was thinking about it and I, I realized that this was a good idea to do something like this. So, ok. Bueno, entonces, eh, no sé si estamos bien con esto, guys. ¿Podemos continuar? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Go on, teacher. I, I asked you about the square mm -hmm. where you put the structure or, or ways when we use already yet. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Yes. So I'm sorry Janira. about Janira. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize, Janira. Yeah, it's like okay. So Janira, I will work on that because I probably I got confused, but I will get the uh, some something so you guys can have uh, when to use when a uh, jet, when to use uh, already, and all those things. I will work on that too. I promise. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Janira. Ok, entonces sí, voy a trabajar en eso, guys. Perdón que no lo hice, pero sí lo voy a hacer. Se los prometo. All right, so then uh, we have the, the next uh, situation. We have the next, um, the next uh, words that we can use with the present perfect. Ok, so we can use the present perfect for past experiences. Ok, and when, it, when we do this, uh, we don't say when these events happen. Okay, so we have some examples here. Okay, so we've been to Rome and Florence. Okay, es, yo he estado en Roma y Florencia. No estamos diciendo cuándo. Okay, estamos hablando de una experiencia que tuvimos. Okay, pasado, next, en el pasado, correcto. Yo he estado en el pasado, en Roma y en Florencia. So you can say things like that. You can say... Uh, I have been to the U.S. If you ever, if you have ever been to the U.S., you can say that, or you can say I have been uh, to uh, Spain. I have been to to France. You can say things like that. Past experiences that you had in the past. Okay. Y que, mm -hmm. eh, y en ese caso, we can use uh, what we have. No, we were, no. Sí se puede también, sí, Elizabeth, eh, pero sería diferente, porque acá estamos diciendo yo he estado y mm. no es específico el tiempo cuando sucedió. Eh, sin embargo, si usted utiliza was o where, que sería pasado simple, que ese es el otro tema que hemos estado estudiando, eh, en ese caso eh, probablemente no. sería más específico cuando sucedió. Por ejemplo, I was in Paris last month. I was in Paris last year. Things like that. Ay, date, date, exactly. Mm -hmm. Y en ese caso, usted estaría diciendo como más específico. Yo estuve en ese lugar en tal fecha, por ejemplo. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, Elizabeth. Okay, so then it says, I haven't read that book. Okay, no lo he leído. Yo no tengo, no he tenido esa experiencia todavía. All right, and then we have some other uh, expression, guys. Uh, as you can see, we have the timeline here. We have the past and the present here, now. Okay, so we're talking about uh, past situations. Okay, something that happened in the past. Okay, acá tenemos, guys, estas palabras. Never, ever, y before. Son bastante utilizadas con el presente perfecto. Entonces, ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar never, ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar ever? ¿Y cuándo vamos a utilizar before? Ok, so we use never. We use never in... Basically, it is in negative uh, statements. 
and also so we can provide short answers, okay? Like this, I have never read, I have never read it, okay? Eh, si ustedes se fijan, es como una oración de tipo positiva, pero eh, la connotación es negativa, porque estamos diciendo, yo nunca he leído, eh, no, lo he leído, yo nunca he leído ese libro. Entonces, eh, es una connotación negativa. Ok, y cuando vamos a utilizar nosotros ever, nosotros vamos a utilizar ever cuando estemos haciendo preguntas, ok? Like, have you ever read a book? ¿Y dónde lo vamos a colocar? Si ustedes se fijan, ever y never va antes del verbo principal. Acá tenemos ever y a continuación está el verbo, read, ok? Never read. So that is the way that is going to work. Ok, I have never read the book, or I have never read it. Y aquí, have you ever read it? Ok, y el significado de esto sería, ¿alguna vez lo has leído? ¿Alguna vez has leído ese libro? Y la respuesta acá, pues, como les mencionaba, never lo utilizamos para negativas y también para respuestas cortas, como en este caso. Eh, I have never read it, ok. Estamos diciendo, no, nunca lo he leído. Nunca. Never. Así que ese sería el uso. Y no sé si tienen alguna duda con respecto a cómo lo vamos a colocar. ¿Estamos claros con la estructura? Yes, teacher. I have a question, teacher. Yes. Ok. The answer the have you ever read, read it? Is I have never read it. Mm -hmm. It's correct. I haven't read it. Yes, you have. You have basically uh, two options. So you can answer that question. You can say, uh, if you want to give a negative response, a negative answer, you can say, no, I have never. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, you can say, no, I have never have. I never have. I'm sorry. No, I never have. Or you can say, no, I have never read it. So you have two options, okay? Let me repeat it back. So you can say, no, I never have, or you can say, no, I have never read it. So we have two options. Okay, thanks, teacher. Se la puede notar acá, you're welcome. Se la puede notar para que, por si acaso tenemos alguna duda, no, no okay. eh, lo podemos tener escrito por acá. Permítame un instante. O por acá. Vamos a ver. Perdón. Vamos a ver. Entonces acá podemos decir no, I never have. Or you can say no, I have never never read I have never read it. Okay, so we have these two options. Lo mismo significan las dos. Aquí estamos diciendo, yo no, nunca lo he leído. Y acá también, no, I have never had. So we have the two options, guys. When it comes to the negative, uh, let's say a negative answer, and you want to say the positive answer, you can say, yes, I have. Okay, you can say, yes, I have. Or yes, okay, I'm sorry about it. I have read it. Ok, ahí están las respuestas. Así vamos a responder. Ok, entonces me gustaría hacerles unas preguntas a ustedes eh, tomando estos ejemplos y, y vamos a ver eh, si ya lo comprendemos. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta, guys, antes de que, que practiquemos? No. No question. I have one. Yes, okay. Uh, but this is not uh, about the, the word that you uh, recently said. Uh, my question is about, uh, you say in the, in the first uh, statement that appear here uh, okay. at, at the top, mm -hmm. we, yes. we have been to Roma and France and Florencia, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I don't understand what is the rule about 
uh, when we use uh, this preposition or link to, mm -hmm. because if, if we say we have been in Rome, in Florencia, I don't know why we don't use in, and we are going to use to. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Boris. So most of the times when we use this structure, I have been, we always say we have been to, okay? You are going to say we have been to, okay. instead of I have been in Rome, or I have been in Florence. Eso, eso es como la estructura que se utiliza. Cuando nosotros hablamos de dónde hemos estado, como, no, como una experiencia, como en este caso, nosotros vamos a decir I have been to, I have been to Rome, I have been to uh, any place that you want to, but you're going to use use uh, to instead of in. I know what you're saying because usually we use the preposition in when we want to uh, talk about like like a city or something like that. But just you use in most of the times. I understand that, but when you want to say that you have a, had an experience, when you want to say that you have traveled to a country like this you're going to use two. I have been to Rome. I have been to Florence. And people and people are going to ask you, Boris, they, they may ask something like, have you been to, uh, have you been to Mexico? Have you been to uh, the US? That is the, the question that you can expect. And then you can say, yes, I have, or no, I have not. Okay, I got it now. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good, Boris. All right. Any other question, guys, before we continue? Yes, go ahead. No questions. Okay. Okay, we're going to continue. Then, guys. Okay, we're almost finished with this, and then we can practice. Okay. Bueno, acá está, eh, esta es la parte final, guys. Esto creo que es algo que ya habíamos visto un poco antes, en el cual estábamos mencionando for and since, ¿ok? A ver, eh, ¿me pueden dar ejemplos de cuándo utilizamos for, de cuándo utilizamos since, por favor? Ok. How long did you live in the United States? Uh -huh. Okay, so if I ask you, Elizabeth, how long have you been in the US? What can you answer in that case? What is going to be the response to that? Mm, I never, I never had in United States, or I never lived with a teacher. That would be, that would be one option. You can say I have never been to the US, you can say that. Or you can okay. say, I have been, uh, I have been in the, in, the, in the United States or I have lived in the United States for let's say one year or two years. Mm -hmm. You can say that for, oh, no. or you can say since, I have lived in the US since 2010. Okay. Uh, another example is things, things, things. No, no, puede ser things from the child. No, things. I don't know about this example. Things. Okay. Yes, so sir. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know. I have been in. In, Arge in Argentina since 2020, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That is good, very good, very good, Kathy. I have been in Argentina since 2020, very good. Okay. I have been since, or I have been uh, something for something, okay? Things like that, as you can see here. Ok, entonces básicamente eh, acá lo que estamos haciendo, y si ustedes se fijan, pues acá tenemos, eh, esta es una pregunta de información, ¿correcto? Estamos utilizando una WH word, in this case, how. So, how long have you been here? 
¿Y qué vamos a obtener entonces como respuesta? Vamos a obtener información, ¿verdad? No va a ser, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. We're going to get information from, from that. So the answer is going to be like, I have been here all day, or I have been here for 20 minutes, or for 30 minutes, or whatever the time is, okay? But you are going to get I have from that. I have studied English since the last week is a correct answer, teacher. Yes, uh, you can say I have studied English since last week. Since last I week. I have studied since last week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I have studied English since last week. Okay, so then guys, we have the, the last the last two uh, the, the last two expressions here. We have all and lately, okay? So then uh, the next one, it says, uh, oh, I have lived, I've lived in this house all my life. I've lived in this house my whole, all my life. I'm sorry, <laughs> all my life. So as you can see, we have all and then a time expression. You can say, I have, I have been here all day. I have been here all afternoon. Or all morning, okay? You can change it. At the end, it's going to be the time expression. All plus the time expression that you want. Okay? Teacher, mm -hmm. What means lately? Lately is como decir ultimamente. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, Jenny, we have this this uh, example that says we have been very busy lately. So yo he estado, nosotros hemos estado muy ocupados últimamente. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so últimamente. Okay, guys, uh, do you have any questions about this? Any question, guys? No. Okay, so do you want to practice again? Because we can practice for a moment before we continue. Okay. Okay, so we're going to practice, guys. I want you to practice with- Peter. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a question about the, the la, la lamina siguiente, the, la última. This one? Yes. Okay. Uh, Lately, lately, mm -hmm. uh, we can use lately only uh, the end of the sentence. Yes, yes, at the end of the sentence. Yes. Okay, or you can also, you. you can also use it at the beginning. I think you can say like lately, we have been very busy. I think that you can use it at the begin at the beginning too. Yes, that's fine. So yeah, you can use both in both uh, both ways, Nadia, at the beginning or at the end, that's fine. But we can use it at the end. So we can just okay. do it in one way. So yeah. Okay, so any other question guys, before we continue? Continue teacher. Okay, teacher. yes. Teacher, uh, please, could you, Explain me when the structure says mm -hmm. all plus time expression, mm -hmm. what kind of time expression do you refer? Yes, okay. So basically, Janira, we are saying like in this case, you can see we have all and then my life. But you can say uh -huh. things like uh, all day, day is a time expression. Uh, also, all morning, all afternoon, or all weekend. You can say things okay. like that. That is a okay, time. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, Nadia. Um, teacher, uh, we can use lately um, uh, después de la palabra late. O sea, ¿es correcto decir late, lately? Uh, yes, yes, you can say that. Yeah, you can say things like, I have been, lately I have been late to class. Uh, things like that. 
because for, for example for example uh, we can use um i get out of my work very lately lately is correct uh, no in that case no uh, because you need to you need to change the order in that case you can say things like uh, i have gone can you can you say the example one more time i get out of my off work very late lately i get out okay. of okay i get out from work work very late lately yes that's fine yeah very late lately yeah you can say that that's fine Está bien, estaría bien. Ok, ok. Sí, that's, that would be fine, Nadia. Sí, está diciendo que usted sale del trabajo muy tarde eh, últimamente. Ya, yep, that's fine. Ok, any other question, guys? No, teacher. Ok, so if you don't have any questions, eh, then we're going to practice. And... Okay, so I want to practice, guys. I want you to practice uh, this, the never, ever, before, and also uh, these uh, expressions here, okay? Like all day, all morning. And also, I want you guys to talk about uh, past experiences that you had like this, okay? Like we've been to uh, this place. You can say things like that, okay? You can say, I have been to Guatemala. I know that a lot of people go to Guatemala. Uh, usually on vacation, so you can talk about those things, and and then uh, you can also ask questions about that, like, have you been to this place, or have have you and your family, or have you, and things like that. Okay, we need to practice as much as we can. So we are going to do that. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get, make the the breakout rooms so we can practice, guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to be checking on you guys. Let's see, here we go. Here we go, guys. Okay. Uh, if you want, you begin to give me an example. Okay. Um, I have studied English since since. 
Twenty. Twenty. Nineteen. Uh, could you repeat, repeat, please? I, I have studied mm -hmm. English, I have studied. English since mm -hmm. 2019. Mm -hmm. 2019. Okay. Uh, I have lived in San Salvador, San Salvador, for uh, almost twenty years. <clears throat> uh, now, can you give me one example using four? Four. Okay. I have lived in this house for five years. Very good. Okay. I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Recording mm -hmm. process. Okay. okay. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Hello, Hi, teacher. teacher. I can see you <laughs> because I am reading. <laughs> no, okay. How is everything going? Hi, guys? teacher. Hi, Alejandro. How is everything okay. going? Okay, hi, hi, teacher. Are you guys uh, good? We are, we are, yes, we are trying, uh, we are, excuse me, uh, exercising the, about the questions, the have you ever, and other things. Okay. You know? Um, okay, and have you have, have you liked the when you try the sushi? When you try sushi, have you liked when you tried sushi? Okay. Bueno, Alejandro, este, disculpe que les interrumpa. Yes, eh, okay. Normalmente, y esto creo que era parte de lo que les tenía que explicar, eh, nosotros a veces, eh, bueno, por lo general preguntamos acerca de una experiencia, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en este caso, si usted le pregunta a Eduardo si ha comido sushi alguna vez, utilizamos mm -hmm. el presente perfecto. Utilizamos, have you ever tried uh, sushi? Eh, he can say, yes, I have, or no, I have, I haven't. So if he says, okay. uh, yes, I have, then most likely the next part is going to be with the simple past. Okay. So oh, you, okay. you are going to say like, uh, did you like it? Did you like it? Okay. Okay. Entonces, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So al principio vamos a utilizar el presente perfecto. Una vez que nos respondan, nosotros vamos a, para obtener más información, con el pasado simple. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Let me see another another question. Who wants to ask uh, something? Do you want to ask? Um. Uh, uh, because, uh, for example, how, no, what, uh, uh, for example, si, si yo quisiera decir cuál es la mejor comida que tú has probado, como para hacer la segunda pregunta sería, what's the, what's best food? that have you ever tried? What the best food have you ever tried? Ever tried. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's correct, Tisha. What's the best food that you that you have ever tried? That is correct? Yes. 
What is the best food okay. that you have ever tried? The best food that I have ever tried? It's correct, the, the answer. The best food that I have ever tried mm -hmm. is... What, what the best food <laughs> have you ever tried? Um, the best food sí, Eduardo, that I sería, have ever tried, maybe. Sería, what is the best food huh? that you have ever tried? Okay, what is the best food? Mm -hmm. What is the best food have you ever tried? That you have what ever is the tried? best food that I have ever tried? Maybe the best food that I have ever tried, maybe maybe was uh, uh, del coral restaurant no okay. hamburgers del coral that is the name very good okay very good really? yes yes hamburger del coral it's maybe the yes. del coral yes thank you teacher yes I've had Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi, yeah. uh, we, uh, we have uh, two examples. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what examples do you have, Andrea? Uh, the first, how long have you studied English? Okay. Uh, I have been studying English for all this year. It's correct. Yeah, it's correct. That is, that is good. Yes, you can say I have studied English all this year. Or I have been studying English all this year. Both are good. Okay. Both sentences are good. Very good. Uh, oh, oh, I think so. Otra opción. Otra opción. Eh, no. no, creo, creo que esto sería bien porque usted está diciendo que okay. durante este año eso es lo que ha estudiado por un año, correcto? Durante todo uh, este año. The second example, Wendy. Is how long have you had? Long hair. Okay, very good. Persistent. I like it. Y la yes. respuesta que dimos fue I've had long hair for all my life. Excellent. Okay, very good job. Very you good have, job. Yeah. Thank you. you have been long hair all of my life. All my life. All my life. Very good. Only that. Two very examples. good. That is good. Just two it's examples. Very difficult. <laughs> yes, at the beginning is uh, a little it, difficult. It is a little difficult at the beginning because you need to think about it. You need to think about the structure, the verbs, but that's yes. fine. That is the reason why we're trying to practice so you can get accustomed to yes. this, and so it becomes easier for you. Yes. Yes. We need to practice. Yeah. I need to practice. <laughs> but you're doing good. I really I like did. the examples that you had. Thank okay. you. Okay. Do you have any questions before I leave? You're good. No. Okay. Moment, no. Very good. Thank okay. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Tea. You're welcome. Okay. Mm. Oh. Hello guys. Okay. How are you? Hello. How are you? Hello. How is everything going, guys? Are you fine? Are you good? Do you have any questions about it? Yeah. Um I no. tried to express no. that. <laughs> no questions so far. <laughs> no. No questions. No, no teacher. No. In this moment, we don't have any question. No questions. Okay, very good. No worries. Okay, we go. Okay. Um, other example. Um, Seria, they have been 
friends for painting pretty, pretty girls. They have been friends for 20 years. I have, I have you ever been a cheer? I have. For the example. Uh -huh. For the example, I have lived in San Salvador. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hi, teacher. How are you doing, guys? Are you doing okay? Do you have any questions? I try to speak with my partner in the practice, uh, present perfect, but Very it's good. difficult. <laughs> Very difficult. Yes, uh, I can imagine. That is the reason why we are doing this so we can practice because I know that at the beginning it can be hard because I mean we have to think about it. We have to think about the structure, the the verbs, all those things. So if we practice, I think that is going to be easier for you guys. Uh, is that the verb because I uh, remember past participle. Yes. Uh -huh. it, it, it's difficult because I uh, a little a little speak in this form. Yes. So what examples do you have? Do you have any example at this point? Uh, with my partner uh, uh, speak uh, other uh, when do you say algunos some some uh, some some sentence mm -hmm. uh, for example have you ever have you ever been to united states okay how you how you ever eat, eat, eating uh -huh. seafood. Okay. How uh, uh, you ever seen the fly cows? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Guys, I'm sorry, I lost the connection. <laughs> 